saw it in, in an ad in a newspaper mm. here. But I mean, I, I'm considering going. I've, I've only been to one NBA game ever. I never have. I went to an old Charlotte Hornets game when they were before the Bobcats. I remember that pretty well because Allen Iverson and the Sixers were playing and Iverson scored 44. Nice. Barry Davis scored the game winning three. Yeah, I went to the Sixers, the Sixers game when Iverson played. Wasn't that memorable of a game? I mean, yeah, it was my first NBA game, so that was pretty memorable to me. in to go to a lot of Orioles games. Just I'll just go randomly buy a ticket and go. Nice. Hmm. It's hard now though because they actually kind of got good. Yeah, that's yeah. what happens when you get. Is it like the Texas Rangers? Like you get tickets for like twenty bucks or like five dollars usually. And like I, I got a, in 2011 was the last year they were under 500, and I was able to get a ticket to the Tampa Bay Rays game for like 87 cents. <laughs> well, actually ten dollars more when you include StubHub like fees, but yeah. Or, uh, you can't do that now. Yeah, but that's funny. That, that it's like when uh, when tech, when the Texas team started getting good, like TCU was good, uh, and the Texas Rangers are usually on the same pod. Of course, the Ravens are a different story. The Ravens, like, it's impossible to get a ticket. Hmm. Like they they play the Jaguars at home, and the cheapest tickets, like in the nosebleeds, were still like eighty five hundred bucks. It's kind of cool. It's so crazy. There's like no skyline. There's only like a couple hotels and 200 buildings. And yeah, it's a pretty flat area, I guess. Yeah, it's very flat. It's it's same as as, as Dallas. The only thing that.